This week's Parsha Vayishloch contains many significant stories. Jacob's wrestle with the angel, the assault and revenge of Dinah, the death of Rachel, the sin of Reuben, and the histories of Esau and his descendants. However, I'm choosing to focus on the story of Jacob's wrestle with the angel. It's been 20 years and Jacob is just now returning to the Holy Land. He sends emissaries ahead to find his brother and they come back and tell him that Esau has already prepared for war. In a last ditch attempt to make up for what, his, what he did to Esau, Jacob sends forward hundreds of livestock. Um, that night, Jacob wrestles with the angel and he comes out victorious even though he injures himself in the process. The next day, he and Esau finally reconcile. According to the commentary, the angel that Jacob wrestled embodied the spirit of Esau, which raises questions about the forgiveness that happens the next day. Was the apology genuine? Did Esau actually want to forgive Jacob, or was his spirit forced to in that wrestle that happened the night before? Whenever you're on the receiving end of an apology, it's hard to know if that apology is genuine. Does a person actually feel remorse and feel bad about what they did, or are they just trying to save face? In the past year, I've had a lot of discussions about Torah and Judaism um, that has asked a lot of questions that are at play here. How much um, are you willing to trust the people around you? How cautious do you need to be to protect yourself? And does genuineness matter? As a people, our history demands that we protect ourselves and that we be cautious of any danger that we, may, that we may be walking into. But our faith demands that we treat the people around us with respect, that we recognize that every person around us has a piece of God in them and that we be patient with them, forgiving of others and forgiving of ourselves. Whether or not genuineness matters is an issue of personal preference. If all you need to hear are the words, I'm sorry, or I apologize, and that's good enough for you, it's good to find closure there. But for me personally, I would rather have someone lie to me than pretend that they forgive me. Um, I think it's important, like I said, to be genuine and true to yourself because you do have a piece of God in you. And healing takes time. And it is important to be patient with yourself and take the time you need. I will always remember growing up, my mom telling me whenever I get mad at her when I was little that it is okay to be angry. Human beings are meant to feel things and emotions are perfectly normal and a part of who we are. If you look at the case of Jacob and Esau, it took them 20 years um, to get to this reconciliation because healing takes time. Um, in the end, if you do see Esau's forgiveness as genuine, um, then love prevailed. Love prevails in the end. Um, after 20 years of not of having this animosity between them, I imagine that both of their souls were tired. And I imagine that this forgiveness, this final reconciliation, that was what both of their souls needed. And they're helping each other and themselves and healing through this process.